Well, good morning, Radiant Life. Um, little different view this morning for our at eight. Uh, my family, we're on a little bit of a vacation down here in Georgia, and we're on the waters. I just want to give you a little, little brief, um, little brief shot right here of where I'm at in Georgia. Um, I'm gonna, the sun is really coming, and I'm right here down on the water, but. Um, we're on Lake Hartwell, so let me let me give you a little like. Uh, sorry, I don't have my tripod with me, but uh, here we go. It's just like a ginormous lake this way, and then good morning, Maryland, and then uh, goes way that way. Like we're right on the border of um, of Georgia, and oh, I can't look that way. We're right here. Uh, little vacation on the border of Georgia and North Carolina just had to get away and um, and I have a uh, I got a cousin getting married in Tennessee that I get to go do the wedding um, here at the end of the week so this allowed us to get away and um, <clears throat> so let me just encourage you this morning sorry if this is a little bit shaky because again I don't have my tripod with me and I'm on the edge of a dock so I got this like floaty motion seasick um, type thing going on here but um, the last couple months I feel probably the last three or four months at Radiant Life just been really encouraged and encouraging to all of you we as staff have been really talking about quiet times like getting into God's Word type of quiet time and um, I think it's one of the spiritual tactics that we're up against is that you know that Satan the enemy of your soul does not want you to get into God's Word he doesn't want you to live out his plan, God's plan and purpose for your life. And um, I think one of, the, uh, one of the goals as followers of Jesus is to get into God's word so God's word gets into us. And I was having my quiet time this morning and I'm on my favorite book in the Older Testament. I absolutely love the book of Exodus. I love Exodus in the Older Testament. In the Newer Testament, I think my favorite book's Mark. Mark's like, He's the gospel writer, writes on the life of Jesus that just jumps in and is like, boom, let's start out with the baptism of Jesus and now Jesus is performing miracles and teaching. Like he's, it's just awesome. But in the midst of it, um, I'm in Exodus chapter three and we got here on vacation last night or yesterday afternoon here in Georgia. And um, I'm in Exodus three and Exodus chapter three, it's a really weird um, verse. Uh, good morning, Ardith. Good morning, Nancy. Exodus chapter three is when Moses like actually is on the mountain, Mount Horab, and uh, he stops and he begins to, um, he, well, he sees the burning bush, right? The burning bush. What's interesting though is Moses stops because he says, I have to see this um, astounding sight, this crazy thing that's happening because he realizes this bush is burning, but it's not like burning all the way up, right? And so it's just really interesting. And so Moses goes and we realize that um, the angel of the Lord, which I would say it's a Christophany, it's Jesus in the burning bush, um, and starts to talk. But here's the thing. Moses slowed down enough to go over to the burning bush. And I realize we're in a crazy season still of life. I realize that. I'm just, I'm, I'm curious sometimes that God has to take us into the wilderness in order to transform us more into the image of his son, Jesus Christ. I'm just curious if we're in a moment right now in a season that God has allowed this to happen so that we may be transformed into the image of Jesus more and more right now, right now. And so I'm, I'm gonna encourage you. I don't have my Bible with you, but check it out. Exodus chapter three, I wanna encourage you right now that maybe now's the time to just slow down and notice the burning bushes all around us that God's just trying to grab our attention. For instance, last night when we got here in Georgia, I took a run and um, here, I took a run, oh my goodness, that sun, like in these woods, right? And there's trails and everything back there and I, I took a run and all of a sudden I was listening to a podcast, but I heard something move, so I stopped. And in the midst of stopping, I realized that there were two deer and one stopped and it was 20 yards away from me. And normally I just push through 
and keep running. I'm like, oh, that's nice and keep going. But I actually slowed down, took a picture, paused my run and enjoyed it. And I just said, thank you, God. Like that was awesome right there. It's just so good. And then this morning I got up, got my quiet time going from my cabin. And then I'm gonna show you right over there where you see that red clay, that uh, beautiful osprey. It's, it's a bird that like dive bombs and catches fish. It's a beautiful like hawk eagle looking bird was there and then it flew over the water and I was just able to watch it and I just reminded, thank you God, like your creation is awesome. But it's those small moments that I would consider there's small burning bushes that are all around us that God's just trying to grab our attention. And maybe sometimes it's a deep, intimate thing that God's trying to get, get our attention. Like Moses, hey, uh, you got to be reminded you're going to go deliver the Israelites and plus remind the Israelites who I am. But little moments like that where I see a deer and I just pause and say, God, you're good. And I see an osprey this morning and say, God, you're good. It's awesome. So my encouragement for all of you guys is to slow down. And for some of you, that's difficult. It's difficult for me because, again, I'm a three on the Enneagram. I'm an achiever. I go, go, go and do. But slow down enough to see the burning bushes all around us that God's trying to grab our attention. So let me pray for us. Let me pray for us that we would slow down enough like Moses in order to see the burning bushes all around. So Heavenly Father, would you be with us? We know you are. I'm reminded of uh, when Moses says, really God, who am I? When he's talking to the burning bush and God, you said, I will always be with you. I will be with you. So God, we know you're with us. May we slow down enough in our time, in our schedule, in our day, in our week to be reminded that there are burning bushes all around us, that you're trying to grab our attention. May we slow down. Some of those burning bushes are going to be deep, intimate wake-up calls for us and others. It's just a simple creature along the side of the road that we can say, God, you're awesome. Great creation. So God, may we slow down. May we not be so jam-packed in our schedules that we forget that you're trying to grab our attention all around us with burning bushes. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, guys, enjoy your day. This water is super hot. I'm about ready to go on another run, and then I'm jumping in this hot water. Hey, enjoy. Slow down. Look for the burning bushes. Blessings to you guys.